Hello, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to be rev uh, reviewing my buses in uh, today's video. So, basically, I'm going to be explaining. Uh, so, if you see me other videos, I like to say how much they're worth by themselves without case, are they worth much with damage, without damaged, uh, factory mistakes, uh, stuff like that. Um, so, if you're new to the channel, um, which I think I earned one subscriber, it's one, so that's uh, good for me, you know. Uh, if you're new, basically in, in my channel I review trucks, cars, buses, bikes, motorbikes, anything die-cast, uh, mainly vehicle-wise, not like, uh, oh yeah, you got like, a little pedal bike, uh, nah, I'm not really interested in that. Even though it might be made out of die-cast, but I'm not inter interested in that. So, uh, so we're going to be reviewing the buses today. These are background buses. Uh, so you'd have to stare at a boring wall, or a bedpost, or anything like that, or like just a plain shelf top. Uh, so we're just going to be reviewing the buses. These are background, obviously. Uh, today we're going to be starting off with this bus. Uh, these are the same. These just different. Uh, these are actually different in price uh, and value. Uh, so value mainly, it's not from price, so these are different in value, so you might be thinking, oh yeah, these are just the exact same bus, why ain't that one worth, uh, the exact same as that one or that one and this one. Um, so the buses I'm going to be reviewing today is this one, this one, that one, that one, this one. So we're going to be uh, starting off with this uh, bus. So this bus is a Corgi a Seagull, a Bellingham Seagull. Uh, the original Omnibus, or is it? Is it Omnibus? Uh, om yeah, Omnibus. And there's a little bit of writing at the bottom. I can't really understand it that much. Probably originals. Uh, original Omnibus, maybe. Original Corgi. So this Corgi, scale, 176. This is a 176, 176, 176, 176. And this one... Um, bear with me a minute. I need to have a look at something. Just give you a light push close up on that. Yeah, so sorry about that. So this is a 176. So all this here is a 176. Uh, this is a different scale on this one, uh, but we're not going to be reviewing uh, these yet. For maybe a few uh, further in the future, we're going to be reviewing uh, uh, these background bosses, and these will eventually come. Uh, background buses. I have mentioned in my other videos I don't like stacking my uh, diecast vehicles because it will damage the paint and stuff. Um, but if you don't, you know, swam them on top of each other, like wham, like I leave it, that will damage it. If you just place it like so, like that, and especially if the buses, all the buses here have rubber on the bottom, not all of them, some have plastic, like this bus here. The buses here have rubber on the bottom, these buses have rubber on the bottom, but this has plastic. If you swam it together, it will chip the paint on the, like that. Um, let's just leave it on the side because it will f continue to fall and damage it a bit more. Um, yeah, this has uh, some damage on it. It was all complete at one point, it's missing a wheel there, it's missing... Chips on it because it keeps falling off stuff. Uh, so we're not going to be uh, too bothered about that bus today. Plus, it makes a nice little abandoned bus theme. You know what I mean? Uh, so today we're going to be reviewing the Silver Star bus, uh, Silver Star, and it's still different to that one. So this is a Car Gear 176 scale, like I said. Uh, Car uh, Bellingham Seagull bus. I love the detail on some uh, diecast vehicles because. It just, it's amazing. I mean, you look at all the detail on the bus, they're like, like they had to put this on, like the smallest right in the world. You got a, you got all these nice lines on it and the, the crevices in the bus and you got all the, you know, because obviously all vehicles here are based off actual real buses with the, the buses decals in real life. So obviously companies like this will go, further into detail or there might be higher uh, brands of um, model cars trucks buses who go extreme detail like oh yeah this my bus is better than that bus oh, yeah, yeah. but yeah it's 
what are you happy with? So I'm happy with Kage, Borrego, Masito, Hot Wheels Matchbox, um, uh, any little common, uh, uh, common diecast maker mainly. So that's diecast, but not like collectible, collectible. I believe it is collectible. I'm not too trying to research that bus right there. See how much it's worth. I value that, where to find it, if it's worth anything with damage or anything like that. Or you could make it as a little parts vehicle. So we're going to review in this bus. So this bus is a Corgi 176 scale, again. Silver with red uh, alloys, steelies. Probably in real life, they're probably steelies or alloys. Red interior, as you can see. Let's move that back a bit more. Uh, this bus was based in Manchester, Liverpool. Its reg is LMW483. I've actually searched up some of my reg regs on some of my buses to see if they were actually real vehicles, and turns out they are. Um, but usually in UK, UK based. Um, it's quite hard to find a reg on old regs, like you know this this reg is different to this reg that you know so and so. So this bus here is worth. Uh, give me a sec. So this uh, Silver Star bus is worth about uh, uh, by itself about eight pounds. So it's worth about eight pound. It might not seem much, but uh, eight pound. Uh, can go a long way uh, for something like this. It might be, it might be common, might be rare, common rare, um, extremely rare. If for extremely rare, it'd be worth a lot more. Um, so it's valued about about eight pound. Uh, these two actually worth a bit more than this silver star bus right here. Uh, this other Bemer, uh, Belling Seagull. So I'm gonna call it uh, Belling Seagull. So this is a Seagull. That Seagull. That Seagull. That's uh different bus that's also a different bus uh, so yeah the, uh, so eight pounds it's a 176 scale it's made from Corgi uh, so Corgi 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 so mainly these buses here are made from Corgi originals except from that bus and probably that bus I believe this bus here is made from uh, Days Gone Lido uh, Del Prado uh, not Del Prado Del Prado make different model cars in these buses so this is worth about eight pounds. So that's uh, it's a bit of value if you want to sell it. Uh, me personally, if I wanted to sell it, if it were damaged, it's not too damaged. It's just got a few paint chips now and there, but it's quite hard to see with this uh, Pacific model because this model is just uh, a core of diecast paint when you rub it off from it. I uh, don't know if you can see, but it does have a few uh, scratches and you know paint chips now there but it, it's all original and uh use it on the sides but this one's different i don't like it when i'm flat because like i said so here on the side skirts here just here at the bottom it has i'll show you it has so as you can see with this other seagull bus, it has bars at the bottom. And this one doesn't. I searched on the internet. This one came over to this one, that one. And that one came in uh, on a box with a big case around it. So th the boxes for these are actually quite big just to show a 176 scale bus and a 176. Uh, they want a pack. So usually there's like a big pack for the buses, like, oh yeah, one at back, one at here, one here, one here, one here, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know what I mean. Um, same with uh, this bus, it came with uh, like a big box, same like this. Uh, with a box, this is worth around, um, if I remember, about £12, £15, if the box isn't damaged or anything like that. So yeah, th this bus, um, it don't come with a, a bar on the bottom. But the only problem with this uh, blue bus here, let me just move the Silver Star, let's go to a Premier Travel Bus. The problem with this, when you move it, so if you can't be bothered picking it up, replacing it, when you're moving it, 
it scrapes the bottom. And when it scrapes the bottom, it it just wears it down real quick. Uh, yeah, it just it just wears it down. Um, yeah, it just wears it down. I don't really like uh, the idea of it. So this is obviously the exact same as that one and that one over there. This one here. Um, this particular bus. Let's go and sh jump straight to value of this bus. You'll be quite shocked. So this one, eight pounds. So remember that. So this silver star bus, that one, is worth about eight pounds. This blue bus is worth. This blue bus is worth about fifteen. So this blue, this bus with this paint code, I love two tone, like any two tone. So like interior wise, like red, silver, magnificent. This two tone, absolutely love it. This two tone from the fifties, sixties, or maybe the seventies, I love two tone, and I love metallic. This one doesn't have metallic paint, but this sort of does have metallic paint. I don't know if you can see it, like, shine here, a bit there. I love metallic paint. Metallic paint's my favourite on any vehicle in the world. Especially old 50s cars like a 1955 Chevy Bel Air or 57 Bel Air or any old vehicle with metallic paint on it. Now, obviously, modern vehicles like a, say like a new Volkswagen Golf GTI has metallic paint on it. I like that, but, you know. Um, so this one doesn't have metallic paint, it just has like, not, oh, it, it sort of does have metallic paint, but it's quite hard to pick up on the camera. It sort of does. If you have this, you probably can have a look at it yourself. So I don't know what makes this more uh, valuable than that bus. Uh, I d I'm not too sure to be honest, I think it might be rarity. I did search it up, like the exact same bus, so like Bellingham Seagull bus. Uh, with, uh, like, I go full detail, so, like, the colours, the scale, size, colour bottom, wheels and stuff. So, I, I just put Boeingham Seagull Bus 176 scale Corgi, and I just put Premier Travel. That, that, that's basically what I put, I, including the colour, so, white blue with dark blue, uh, with silver, uh, uh, grey side skirts. Uh, also, I said bars. Yeah, I call them bars. Uh, yeah, I call it bars. Um, focus, please. Thank you. It's doing that a lot work, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know what makes it more valuable than that one. Or that one. I'm not too sure. Might be rarity. But I did search it up. It was actually quite hard to find that one. And believe it or not, this one sort of. Like like I say, it's common rare. It might be rare. It might be common rare. Extremely rare. Um, you know, I'm not really too sure if it's... Uh, rare, but I, in my my opinion, I say it's rare. Um, so yeah, it, it's rare, maybe. So yeah, fifteen pounds. So we've got eight fifteen, and we're gonna move on to this other one. Again with a nice two tone, which I love. Like I keep saying, any sort of two tone. If the colour's right, then it's excellent. If it's not right, say like pink. And, uh, like a real bright yellow. No, no, no. That, that is not a nice two-tone colour. You can tell I'm a fan of two-tone because most of my vehicles here are two-tone and probably some down here. Uh, these buses here will be reviewed soon. These are just normal plain buses, so I won't be reviewing them. If you want to get reviewing them, I'll, um, squeeze them in my channel. Just... Ah, uh, forget it. Uh, yeah, these, uh, gonna get reviewed soon uh, these ones are actually quite difficult to find but this one that that is on the internet these uh this one that one cannot find uh so i'm guessing it might be just normal toys so this one is so again so there's the blue one. let's jump straight to the value of this seagull bus so give me a minute so this orange is worth about 10 pounds by itself so 8 15 10 or if you want to go war, 8, 10, 15. So this one's the more valued bus than this one. So, so we've got um, 8, 10, 15. Try to stack them up. There we go. So 8, 10, 15. Uh, I just love that, but like I said, I don't really like stacking them. 
If you if you stack them gentler, then it's fine. Let's move that a little bit. Let's pull that out a bit. Move this. Do some sorting on camera. That's good. Anyway, so yeah, this is a uh, 176 scale. So every bus here you see, including the background bus, is here. 176, 176 from this bus to that bus. Not that bus, or this one. This bus and this bus, different scale. So this is worth about £10. Uh, oh, I just forgot uh, where to find them. Right. So these three buses are from a website called elisekeith.com. Uh, so I'll say it again. Elise Keith with uh, E, uh, so E-Z, so e -Z Keith, uh, dot com. So you can find these on their website uh, for the same price, so 8, uh, 15, 10, just by themselves. Or they have the box versions as well for like 15, 20 quids, uh, 20 pound each. Uh, so the think about it, so 8, 10, 15, so that's why 18 pound just for these buses, which is a good deal because they are nice. And uh, then you got 15, so that's fairly good as well. Uh, there is other colours of these buses, so you might have a cream with green, green with dark green on it, like you know, like this. And so you've got green with dark, uh, dark green with green, cream. So triple, uh, so Zeta three tone, that's what that's called with three different colours. So we've got two tone, normal tone, so like one colour. Only like silver, and we've got two tone, two tone, zeth, two tone, and two tone like that. Uh, so yeah, so eight, ten, fifteen. Let's move on to this little bugger. Now, this little bus was a pain in the butt to find on the internet because it thinks you're searching up the actual bus, which is a, a Mercedes LML something. Remember, so it's a, a, a 90s bus uh, ended in. Kind of early 2000s. And then they recreated it as Volkswagen and other countries like Bluebird and stuff. This bus was a kind of pen in bum to the find on the internet. So this particular bus is worth about... So this bus is worth about £15.95. So a lot more higher than the blue bus. Which is worth about 15 so £15.95, so 95 pence difference. Or if you want to call it, call it £16, but me personally, I prefer £15.95. Uh, yes, it seems a lot, but this were actually worth that just by itself. So most of my vehicles are by themselves. It's quite hard getting vehicles with the stands, with the case and stuff. Um, so, yeah... Uh, like I said in some of my other videos, I got all my vehicles given. Some I've bought, some I've had given, uh, some I've had, you know, I sell them myself if I want to. But, you know, say for instance, I bought that one down there, bought this one, and all the rest I got given. So, like this, I bought that one, got given that, you know, etc., etc., stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So, that's worth about £15.95. Again, pen it bum to find, same as the other ones there. They, even them are difficult to find on the internet nowadays. Um, especially some of the Comic Cray uh, collection. Oh, one of you actually met, uh, commented on my videos, which you want to see first out the Comic Cray collection. And one of you said uh, the Ford Sierra Cosworth, or if you're a Yorkshireman, Cosy, uh, you know, like myself. Uh, so the Aris Cosworth and the Escort Mark II, which seems a good idea to me honestly. I'm not judging on it. So maybe in my, uh, I I've probably some of you been itching your fingers like when's the when's the Comic Craze coming out? You know, I did make a short. I tease them now and again, uh, but if I remember, because I get mixed up, I need to make plans for the Comic Craze. I will sure the comic craze so two cars from each from 14 so two 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 and so on so on in separate videos but um the only problem with the comic craze showing you it's okay showing them like this or like yes this is 50 pound at five it's worth about 20 pound with the box and stuff but the comic craze uh they uh some of them are quite rare to find on the internet now because i've been collecting them for like four years three four years each two years one year each and some of them are common to find on the net so you've got the mini which is worth a little bit more than you got all rest of them 
especially Alice Cosworth. I cannot find that anywhere on the internet. It is on the internet. It's just really difficult to know the exact same pro- uh, the exact price. So it might be worth about thirty forty pounds by itself. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um. Oh, another YouTuber who I've mentioned um, not mentioned before. He's got the exact same collection as me. Is called John Armstrong. So, John Armstrong, if you watch this video, I might tag you, I don't know. Uh, I would like some information from uh, you, uh, officially, uh, for the RS Cosworth and the Escort Mark II. Because uh, I have it, and I, I do not know the, the value of the RS Cosworth Sierra. Uh, not the 4 before, just the other Sierra from his dad on him. And the escort. So if you've got any uh, information from me, John, that'd be absolutely amazing. Yeah. So back to today's uh, video. So £15.95. They're quite hard to find. Uh, internet, where to find it is... So ebay.co.uk. eBay varies on a lot of items. So eBay uh, might be the best shop. Uh, there was one person who was selling about three of these. Uh, for about fifteen pounds to about sixteen, seventeen, uh, just by themselves. But some of them were varies in uh, that condition wise. So, say for instance, mine's missing a mirror. As you can see here, it's got that. Uh, it's got a few paint scuffs, uh, like a bad one there, and then you got one down there, and you got lots of scratches on top, which are quite hard to see on camera. See, like there, where the shiny bit is, there, there's a scratch there. Then obviously around the common areas for any model car is around the corners where it's going to hit stuff constantly. So if you want to search up the reg, like sometimes I like to do, so the reg is H2B0RAU. Obviously it's based off of a rear vehicle. So it's from Trent. So Trent. Some Trent bars maybe? Not, not too sure. Yeah, uh, if John Armstrong is watching this video, and if I might, you know, at him, like a, like, that like at sign, that weird A, um, I'd like some information about the Iris Cosworth and the uh, Ford Escort Mark II, if you don't mind. Thank you. Because I watched your video and I commented on it, and I don't know if you got the comment or not. I'm not asking for a shout or anything. It's just, I uh, want a bit of info. Because um, myself, I've been collecting them for like four years, three years each. Obviously, I've got the full collection. I've had them for like four or five years now. I just mean it's difficult to find prices of each car, like uh, the Mini or the, so the Escort Mark II. So this bus is... Uh, this. Sorry, this bus is from Corgi again. 176 girl, Pat Pedding. Like I said, most of these buses are cargo. So obviously this is a cargo single deck. Uh, 176 scale. I love this bus. Again, pain in the bum to find on the net, but eventually I found it at last. Now this bus is worth about £9. So this is worth about £9 or if you call it 10 quid. But £9 seems a bit awesome. More fair. So at £9... You can find it on, same as the website of these, alizkeith.com. So alizkeith.com, that eBay. Uh, some of these will be on eBay, but I prefer alizkeith.com. That's more, better information for some of these buses. So alizkeith.com for about £9 by itself. Do you have a box as well for about £10, £18? I'm not too sure. I can't remember because I've researched all individual my buses. So if like these buses, if the exact same layout, they will be worth about five to about twelve pounds each because they've got a different design. But some designs will be rare. Say for instance, that might be rare. I don't know. That could be common. That will be a bit more rarer than that one. Or if you get my meaning. So this bus is my probably my fifth favorite bus. So, eventually, sometime in the future, maybe in a couple more videos, I will do a video on my favourite cars, buses, trucks in my entire 
car collection, bus collection. So this will be in there. The Silver Star will be in there. This bus might be in there, including Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, which I have still because, you know, they're awesome. No one's too old to have a look in the Hot Wheels section and see, oh, yeah, Pontiac Trans Am, Hot Wheels car, Bugatti Veyron, you know what I mean? Uh, so I will do a video, including the Coma Craze. I will pick my favourites out of the Coma Craze, including the Aris Cosworth and the Mini Cooper, Sunbeam, Tabal, everything like that. Again with the two-tone. So this has got the black too. So we've got the black roof, red. And we've got blue, black interior, or navy blue. I love navy blue. It's like navy blue is like, on this bus here, that's like a navy blue. Well, that's obviously a darker blue. That's a darker blue. I prefer, I, I think that's a more of a navy blue than the interior on this one, the sides on there, and this one. So I'm gathering that's more of a navy blue. Uh, yeah. That's a good little setup right there. So I will do a video on my favourite uh, model buses and stuff. And other vehicles in my collection, so like uh, Willie, stuff like that. Um, that red Ford Capri, what I showed, uh, that's in my favourite. I have another one, which I will show in my next video, maybe. Depends on time and stuff. Uh, so, if you want a bit more information on each bus, just drop it down in the comments. Um, what Coma Cray car you want to see first. You're like, can I see the Mini and also the Subaru? Uh, one of the three Subarus, because there's three of them. Uh, what bus do you want more information on? Like, oh yeah, can I have a bit more information on that Norden? Uh, Curse? You know what I mean? Uh, can I have a little bit more information on, you know, this bus here? Because that looks rare, interesting. Just drop it down in comments, I don't mind. And if you want a shout out, just... If you want a shout out in the future, just put hashtag shout out. And I will shout you out in the next video. Uh, that's my promise. Uh, check me out on Instagram, which is Reviews Diecast or Warcaps. The profile picture on that's just same as my YouTube channel uh, account, my picture. And my Sage Band 500 as well. Convertible, same as Instagram, so Reviews Diecast. I show little sneak peeks and stuff, uh, screenshots of my videos to, so you can get up to date and stuff. Um, uh, drop a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you want, turn on notifications if you like. Um, uh, share the video to your friends, family, uh, any other person, uh, uh, model shops maybe. Say like, oh wow, that's got, uh, he's got that, he's got this, wow, that's rare, I can't find that anywhere, but this guy's got it, you know what I mean? Oh, and again, uh, John Armstrong, I will probably put a link in his channel, to his channel, to the Coma Craze that I have, because it's just an amazing, amazing video. Because I enjoyed it, I watched it like three times, I've got that interest and I thought, Wow, he's actually been searching for that longer than me. And the, wow, he's got that one, he's got this one. And he's just like, wow, you know what I mean? So I put I put a link in his channel in probably description maybe. So uh, that would be all today's guys. So thank you for watching Darkest Reviews. And see you in the next one. See you in a bit. Thank you.